Welcome. This is the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Thursday, April the 15th. Today, we're going all the way back to the beginning, the book of Genesis, chapter 50, verses 14 through 21. This is the word of the Lord. After burying his father, Joseph returned to Egypt together with his brothers and all the others who had gone with him to bury his father. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they say, What if Joseph holds a grudge against us and pays us back for all the wrongs we did to him? So they sent word to Joseph saying, Your father left these instructions before he died. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. His brothers then came and threw themselves down before him. We are your slaves, they said. But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then, don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. That is the word of the Lord. The article is titled, Forgiveness Brings Future Blessing by Suzanne Blake. When you have wronged someone, intentionally or unintentionally, someone needs to make the first move to bring reconciliation. There must be a time of clearing the air to move forward. Joseph had reason to punish his brothers. After all, they had teased him, humiliated him, sold him into slavery, and even lied to the father, telling him that Joseph was dead. Lots of deceit and lots of guilt had to bother some of Joseph's brothers. I'm surprised that not one of them let the truth slip out over the years. Meanwhile, God had a plan for Joseph. Joseph could not have enjoyed the title and the life of a leader in Egypt unless he had not gone through great pain and suffering. The saving of many lives was God's plan. God used Joseph to provide food during the famine that he knew was coming. God sees the outcome of every situation. God can and will do whatever it takes to rescue and save his people. The harm Joseph experienced paid the way for saving lives years later. If we are faithful to trust God in the hard times, he will bring good to us and bless others. The hymn is titled, It is Truly Wonderful, by Barney E. Warren. He prospers and protects me. His blessings ever flow. He fills me with his glory. He makes me white as snow. And in Romans chapter 14, verse 13, we read, Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. This is your daily devotion for Thursday, April the 15th. Have a blessed day.